okay, okay. What about makeup? I did get this for Christmas. It's a Style Pro brush cleaner, makeup brush cleaner. And it's made a huge difference in like, I think my skin, like just cleaning my brushes. I don't do it every week, maybe every two weeks I clean all my brushes. And I think it just helps so it's not transferring bacteria to and from when I put on my makeup and then next time I use it. So I do them, yeah, every two weeks I brush them and they dry instantly. It's super cool. I saw this online, um, obviously, and I really wanted to try it. And then my mum surprised me with it for Christmas. So I've been using it. I love it. Um, and I really recommend, like, if you get a lot of breakouts and stuff, stuff like that that you wouldn't think of to do is, like, cleaning your makeup brushes often. Really, really helps with the breakout. So I've been using that. So that's sort of makeup. And then... I was obsessed with this. I have dry skin. Now, it's a hydrating primer. It's the Marc Jacobs um, coconut, coconut oil, coconut water um, primer. And it's so, oh my god, there's like a teeny bit there. It's really, really hydrating. It's a great um, primer. Um, it is expensive. I did sort of lash out to get that one. Um, if anyone knows of anything similar, um, like really hydrating primers, link them down below. Um, I think that I would only repurchase this if it was like a special occasion or like for a birthday or something. Um, but it definitely is incredible if you're, if you've got a higher budget, um, and if you've got dry skin, it's just incredible. So I just put it on before my makeup. Um, let it dry for five minutes, like just let it sink in. And yeah, it definitely makes my makeup last, um, not slip and slide, uh, dries down nicely, and it's just really hydrating with the coconut in it as well. So that's perfect. If you had oily skin, I would definitely not recommend it. So I bought the Too Faced Candlelight Glow. This is a highlighter. Um, as you can see, I'm completely like panned out. I am almost empty. Um, I will repurchase it, but there is also another couple of brands that I really want to try. Um, but this was a great one to have in your collection. There's a couple of different shades in the in their glow range. Um, so I got the candlelight, and it's kind of like a um, champagne -y gold and like a pinky rosy color, and I just swirl them together. Um, yeah, so that's a great highlight. I love that, of course, they have the mirror. So if you're out and about, it's a great size. It did last me like a couple of months. Um, as it was my main highlighter that I used um, but I definitely am looking forward to trying a couple of new brands but it is fantastic and I know a lot of people always give me compliments when I wear this um, my eyeshadow palette since I bought this it is like my go-to I was obsessed with a couple of the naked palettes and then I bought the Tartlet in Bloom by Tarte I have been obsessed with it it's what I use every day I don't ever use anything different um, I might use a couple of shades from the Naked palette, um, but I am obsessed with this. So it has 12 shades in the um, in the palette. I use a lot of the lighter shades, this pink, this red, and the bronzies. I haven't really dipped into the darker shades yet, um, mainly because I use it every day for work and stuff like that. Shadows are amazing. Uh, they blend out so, so good. They're really buttery and creamy. They're really, really good. Um, yeah, my favorite shade, oh, I don't know. I don't know. I do use Funny Girl a lot and Rebel, um, but they are stunning. Um, they blend out perfectly. They've lasted me for ages. And yeah, I've only hit pan on two, almost three. Um, and again, it comes with the mirror. So I love palettes that um, come with the mirror. Also, um, I did get this blush from Benefit. It's just the little box blushes and it does also come with a mirror. Um, so this is the Dandelion shade. It's really, really cute. It's just a nice, like, no makeup makeup blush. Like it's really just flushes the cheek. It's not really harsh. Like I did have a Too Faced one, but I got like a two, a shade too pink and it was just like, whoa. Like even bleeding it out, just I felt like it was too much. This is a lot more natural. Um, and yeah, it's just a gorgeous shade. So um, the Dandy Long, especially like I've got quite fair skin. So the Dandy Long, uh, Dandy Lion by Benefit Blush. And I think this is the last product in makeup and it's the Steel of Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. Um, I'm wearing it today. I actually hate doing winged liner or liquid liner until in October last year, my auntie got me this little sample size 
and I became obsessed. It was so easy to do it. So it's got a really fine point on the tip and um, obviously it just disperses the product through the tip and it's just so easy to like wing on. It's like I became obsessed. I wore almost wing liner every day. Um, I had to go back and repurchase it. It did last me until December, so that's October, November, December, like three months, this little sample size. Then I went and bought the full size product stay all day waterproof eyeliner in black by Stila. Um, yeah, incredible if you're learning to do wing liner or you're not the best at it. I found this so good. Um, obviously with the bigger size, it is a little bit harder to handle. The sample size was definitely like a lot easier, but because I got so used to it, this became really easy. I just hold it. I don't hold it sort of out. I hold it closer to, um, and it gets a really thin line because I have hooded eyes. So I don't like a really thick, I don't like a thick wing because I've sort of got hooded eyes. So it makes them look quite small. Uh, but I found this is really thin. It's really easy to get a straight line. Um, and yeah, it's waterproof. So love that. And I think that's kind of all for my makeup. Now there's a lot of stuff here for Noah, but there's a last few bits and pieces for me is, um, the sugar plum fairy lip scrub by Lush. I got, um, this at Christmas, but I got another two as gift. It's, um, a, it's a sugar scrub, oh my God, a sugar scrub for your lips. And I find if your lips are all dry and cracky, um, this is edible. It's just sugar and flavoring. Um, those of people who know me know that I just am obsessed with it. Uh, it's kind of a weird concept because you kind of you eat it off, so you're eating like your skin. But anyway, I guess you kind of do that anyway. But you just sort of scrub it. Oh, it smells so good. So this so good. And it makes all your lip glosses and lipstick, especially matte lipstick, um, go on a lot nicer. Like if I'm going to wear a matte lipstick, I'll always do this first. And I even do it a couple of times throughout the day. Um, so glide onto the lips and buff in, licking off the excess. Um, so Sugar Plum Fairy, um, it's kind of like a, like a fairy floss flavor. It says it has wild orange, sweet wild orange, um, and lime scent. But it definitely tastes like fairy floss really really good so that is what I use from them and I've got two oils for you guys um, as you know I said before that I am with doTERRA these are two new oils I tried I tried the hope touch rollable bottle which is their um, it's a charity bottle all proceeds go to their um, healing hands foundation I smelt it at a friend's house um, at a workshop and then like a week later I could not stop thinking about the smell. It smelled so good. I literally use it as my perfume now. Um, let me tell you what it has in it. I should probably know by now. Um, so it's got bergamot, um, lang lang, lang, yeah, <laughs> lang lang, frankincense and vanilla. And it smells sweet and like fruity. Oh my god. So you just roll it on, um, and it just smells incredible. Um, it lasted me ages, but I have gone and just bought a new bottle. Um, I think this would make a really great gift as well. I think it's great that it is named Hope, but it's an amazing product. I use it every day as my perfume. Um, and then the new oil I've been trying that I got as um, my free oil of the month this... Um, yeah, my free oil of the month in April um, is the Clary Calm. It's... So Clary Calm, it says monthly blend for women. It's a 10 mil rollable um, and it has in it Clary Sage, Lavender, Bergamot, Lang Lang, Cedarwood, Geranium, Fennel, Carrot Seed. Um, is used as a support for um, uh, menstrual <laughs> cramps um, and also hormone imbalance. So I bought... I got this purely because I suffer from PCOS and I'm really trying to heal it naturally um, with like diet changes, exercise, and I've been recommended this oil. I've been using it twice a day. I just rub it onto like my ovary and abdomen area. Um, and yeah, I definitely notice that it helps with my cramping. 
Um, I feel like it's a daily support. It's going to be my daily support in my aid to try and um, help with my PCOS naturally. Um, so I'm going to be using this every day. I will keep you informed. It is just a new oil, but I am enjoying it and I definitely can notice a change with um, any cramping. So that is, again, the doTERRA Claricum.